hope you have a great 50th birthday. See ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. This is the worst. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, Annie. I think most people are going to go on about your intelligence, your beauty, your work ethic, your sense of humor, and that's all very true. But I have unique reasons why I love you. Um, one of which is your unbridled enthusiasm for harem pants during the 1980s. The fact that you sing Love Shack as poorly as I do. Uh, your complete lack of fear swimming in French sewage. And the fact that after our lost picnic in France, you came to from your blackout in the back seat of my car with a bumper in your lap. And your first question was, is there anything I can do? And I think <laughs> the, is there anything I can do is sort of a defining question for Anne-Marie Fennell. I love you so much, 100% in your corner all the time. And I wish I could be there with you for your year long celebration of your 50th birthday. Love you, sweetie. Annie, happy birthday. Word is that people are gonna be doing um, funny memories, funny stories, embarrassing stories. And every time I think about our stories together, our memories together, the only thing that comes to mind is embarrassing stories about me doing stupid things or making a fool of myself. So, for example, one of the classics is wiping out on the dance floor in the New York City bars, I think more than one. I swear, all that beer that spills makes it super slippery. So anyway, I'm gonna stay away from funny and I'm gonna go the more sentimental route. And, uh, you know, do what I do better, for sure. Leave the funny to the funny people. Anyway, I wrote some things down because I didn't want to mess it up, so. It's just so hard to put into words what your friendship means to me and how much I love and admire you. There's no mistake that you're an incredible mother, wife, real estate broker, volunteer, cook, friend, and confidant. The truth is that you are the epitome of greatness, so anything and everything you put your mind and heart to shines. I cherish every moment we have shared together these past 14 years, and I can't wait to see where life takes us. No, no matter where it is, please know that I will always be your greatest cheerleader. I'm such a, <laughs> a shoulder to cry on and an open and comfy couch for our favorite activity of all, chatty couch time. Love you so, and happy, happy birthday, my friend. Love you. Happy birthday, Annie. Remember, 50 is a new 25. First of all, you're 50. And I mean, I have to start by saying, first of all, I look like I'm like 110 in this video. And first of all, first of all, what's the thing I love you the most? Well, first of all, I love your smile. First of all, I love your laugh. First of all, I love your heart. First of all, first of all, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Annie. Heather and I are so grateful for your friendship. Um, as are the boys, we celebrate you on, on your 50th. Um, we absolutely adore you and the rest of the Nels and are so happy that you're in our, our lives. Um, also love coaching basketball with you. And uh, one of my most favorite memories were your, was your reaction to um, showing up for, I think, the first basketball game we do together. Everyone shows up dressed like Pat Riley uh, in their finest studs. And one boy, one of our ball players, Christopher, was so blown away with how beautiful you were and how well dressed. And he said, you must be a flight attendant. You look so nice. And the way you laughed and giggled and hugged him is uh, forever uh, etched in my memory. And, um, and gives me a lot of joy to reflect on. So thank you for being a great friend. Um, we love you. Happy birthday. Hi, it's Barbara here to wish Anne-Marie the happiest, happiest 50th birthday. And when I think about Anne-Marie, there are three words that come to mind. Handwritten note. 
About four years ago, Anne Marie took the time to write me a handwritten personal note that was so nice. And we are in the age of handwritten notes being a dying art. And to me, this is the essence of Anne Marie that she goes the extra mile. And also, Anne Marie, I want to tell you that even though I don't see you very often, I have the fondest, fondest memories of our 20s and early 30s in New York City. You and I went through infertility together and you were the epicenter of some amazing waxing parties, the book club, and many, many other social plans that were always innovative and fun. And I'm jealous that your girls in Washington get you to do that for them. And I miss you. And welcome to the 50th birthday club. Um, have a great, great birthday. I hope to be able to celebrate with you soon. Love you. Happy birthday, Annie. My boys and I thought we would list some key characteristics that we think of when we think of you. So number one is? Genuine. You're honest, sincere, true, and authentic. Number two is? Supportive. We can always count on you no matter what. Number three is? Loyal. You would do anything for family or friends, anything. And finally, number four is? Fun. You are always up for a new adventure and quick to laugh and have a good time. And we have a quick picture to show you as proof that you like to have a good time. So we love you so much, Annie, and we wish you a very happy birthday. Love you. Boom, chicken, bye bye. And we moving at the speed of light into eternity. This year is your year. Join us and join us in the middle of turning 50. Feel your ass pull, the music and the rhythm go round you and round you. I'ma take you there, seven sweater dresses. Don't be scared, TJ Maxx got you. We can't go anywhere. Back, Back to, to the PBIs. But first is your chance. We win. win. We win our whole life for the Super Bowl. It's gonna, gonna be you and Carson Wentz on the dance floor. Cause we only got one night. Double, double your pleasure. Double your sweater dresses. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. It's like I waited this whole spring to settle this million dollar center hall colonial. It's gonna be you, title agent, because we only got one closing. Double your cash, double your cash. Uh, your cousin Ryan, um, giving you a quick message here um, on your 50th birthday. Very happy for you and your family. Um, I want to tell you that uh, over the years I've really uh, appreciated your your love and warmth and openness to your family, to me particularly. Particularly when I was living in DC, um, uh, you and Jeff and the kids were always really supportive and great for me. I love you guys. Love you. Hope you have a great day. Your 50th day. Um, and uh, I wanted to point out that you gave me my first journal, which is right here, which uh, I received when I graduated from high school. Um, and I filled it up up until about, I was 25. It's got a lot of stuff in here. And then from there, I've got other, other journals. But, um, you know, I, I did a writing class this past, this past year, which uh, um, kind of inspired by, by your gift and other people in my life. And I, I'm so grateful for you, and I hope you, uh, have a great day. Okay, love you. Love you, Mason Cousin Anne. Okay, bye. Happy, well, happy birthday. birthday. Anne Marie. You know, yes. three three of the people in this picture were here at the beginning. Yeah. Guess, this guess, and Emmy guess who wasn't. And I was with you first. As you can Even tell, we rehearsed what we were going to say. Yes, here. we're really yes. rehearsing. But we wish you the very best. 50 years. We love you. Love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. So my favorite thing about Annie is that she's always there. She always manages to make it to all the happy hours and all of her kids' sports games and everything. And I don't know how she does it with the job that she has and all her other obligations, but it's incredible. And whenever I get to a sports game, especially a baseball game, because they last forever, I'm always really excited if Annie is there because I know I have someone fun to talk to, someone to hang out with during a long doubleheader. Um, and so I'm always happy to see her. Happy birthday, Annie. I hope this is like the 10th celebration of your 50th. I hope my 50th is that wonderful. Happy birthday, bye. Happy birthday, Annie. You are one of the most gorgeous, thoughtful, funny friends that I have. And I'm so grateful that this neighborhood brought us together. When you started celebrating your 50th birthday approximately three years ago, I wasn't sure that this level of excitement could extend all the way through to the actual day, but it really has. And what you've taught me is that we should celebrate life as often as possible with the people that mean the most to us. And I'm so happy that you've included me in so many of the celebrations for this birthday. I'm hoping we can experience at least 50 more 50th birthday parties together. I love you, happy birthday, have a wonderful day. I cannot believe that you're turning 50. Five zero, wow. Gosh, I remember when we used to babysit our children. Um, doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but we love you, hon. Happy birthday, Ann. Hope you have a good day. Had a good day. It was a night, but okay. Hey, Annie. Happy birthday. Uh, just wanted to say um, how special you are and uh, thank you uh, for all that you do. Uh, you're uh, uh, the person who lights up the room and makes everybody happy. I know every time I see you, I feel that. Uh, when I walk in the room and get a hug from you. Um, you're also pretty cool because you sold our house and uh, um, sold it for more than it was worth. Uh, so that's always good. Uh, but you're a great mom, uh, seeing you with your kids, uh, a great friend to me and Margaret and Amelia, and uh, you're the best. We look forward to many more years ahead. Uh, hanging with you and, and the family and uh, just want to say happy birthday um, hope you have a great one bye happy birthday Annie wishing you all the best you are a wise vibrant beautiful hilarious person and I so enjoy having you in my life happy birthday happy birthday 
due to technical challenges that are clearly beyond my capabilities. <laughs> this is all I can give you, but I love you. Happy birthday. Happy 50th, Danny. Now, one thing you have really impressed on me is family. Not our actual family, but the game family. It has led to so many fantastic nights with you all, friends, family, and I owe it all to you. Happy 50th, enjoy Arizona. Happy birthday, Annie. It's Evalicious. I want to wish you a happy 50th um, from me and my family. 17 years ago, we met at Sibley's class for pregnant women, and uh, I was so thankful to meet you then. From there, Playgroup was born, and this band of moms has meant the world to me. Uh, you and the others have made motherhood a little less scary and certainly a lot more fun. I'm a better mom because of uh, the ladies and certainly because of you. Love you lots. I wish you the best and you deserve all the greatness in the world. Happy 50th and to many, many more. Hi, Annie. It's Michelle. Happy 50th birthday. I can't believe we're 50 years old. And even though we haven't seen each other in a really long time, I'm certain that you are still the same fabulous woman that I knew in my 20s. I feel so blessed that I got to spend all that time with you in the city. We just had so much over the top fun, largely because of you and all your crazy fun ideas. I mean, who takes a bikini wax and makes it into a party? That's what you do, Anne Marie. You're that special rare breed that just breathes life into everybody and everything that you touch. So, happy birthday to you. Hi Annie. Oh gosh, I'm really nervous about this. Okay, so my favorite memory or memories of Annie are sort of a blur. And that's not for the reasons you might think, but more because the most concentrated time that we've spent together has been during the first decade of our motherhood. And um, gosh, we spent so much time together during that time. But my favorite memory is one when we first met, which Annie has definitely heard this story before and probably almost everyone else has as well, but it was very impactful. We met, Annie and I met at the Sibley Moms Group where we met a bunch of other friends as well. But the Sibley Moms Group was, if you don't know, a support group for new moms. It was held at Sibley Hospital, I believe and led by a nurse who I think also was a lactation consultant. Anyway, the point was to just get moms out of the house and talk to one another and just let you know you're not alone and that was all well and good because I was very alone. I didn't have a single friend in DC since moving to New York, from New York about a year prior. Um, basically moved to DC, got pregnant, had no friends. So I went to this mom's group and I met Annie. I left. I got home, I called my mother, as any good girl does, and said, Mom, I made a best friend, I met my best friend. And she said, what, who? And I said, her name is Annie. And she said, where, where Annie what? And I said, I don't know. And she said, well, where does she live? And I said, I think she lives in my neighborhood, but I'm not sure. And she said, well, did you get her number? And I said, no. And my mother was just beside herself, so hopeful that I had made a friend, and then so crestfallen that I was delusional. Anyway, lo and behold, the next week I went back and Annie was there and we quickly made plans. She invited me to a newly formed play group and we formed a book club and a cork and fork and the memories just go on and on from there. I think I'm running out of time. Anyway, my best memory was when we first met. There's been so many amazing memories from that point on. Um, I love you. Happy birthday. Hi, Emery. As you can imagine, this is not my favorite thing to do, but in honor of your 50th birthday, here goes a little trip down memory lane for you. You and I met in our 20s through Kristen and John, played tons of Pricewaterhouse basketball, spent evenings after the games at the firehouse, eating wings and drinking beer, watched every episode of The Bachelor, did book club together where the most important question was, what's the literary quality of this book, which generally wasn't very high. We had a joint 30th birthday party, um, loved our beach house in Manasquan on Salmon Avenue. That was a great, great summer. Um, didn't see each other as much in our 40s as I would have liked, so here's hoping we change that for the next decade. So, happy birthday, miss you, and hope to see you soon. Hi, Annie Fennell. It's your birthday. 
and it's your 50th birthday, which is huge. I mean, it is, that's impressive. I mean, you are 50. Yeah, yeah, you are. Uh huh. I'm not 50 yet, but I hear that it's pretty darn nice. It's exciting. So when I turn 50, I can only hope I do it with the grace and the um, excitement that you have. Getting old is uh, not for wimps. Clearly, you're no wimp. Keep getting old, lady. Keep getting old. I love you. You are truly one of my favorite people. Uh, you make me laugh. Um, I think you made me cry, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, um, keep it up. I can't wait to spend another 50 years with you um, and see where it goes. You're crushing it. So big hugs and kisses to you, Annie, on your birthday. A very, very happy birthday to you. I struggle to think of just one memory. There are so many memories I have of the 16 years since I've known you, but um, I guess the group of memories that I think uh, has a very special place in my heart is all those miles we logged pushing strollers. First with Josie and Will, and then Reese and Weston, and sometimes double strollers, and that was quite the load to push around. And then finally with Luke and Adele, and we went up and down the hills of AU and Spring Valley and Forest Hills, and um, looking at license plates, so conversations from everything like, oh, I see an AZ to a BA, and now here we are in Fs. That tells you how long ago that was. Um, but also just talking about everything, uh, you know, all the all the friendship that's forged in those young kids' years and just how much your companionship meant to me then and still does. And I wish you um, a very, very happy birthday and look forward to many more years and even when maybe we're having to be pushed in wheelchairs ourselves. <laughs> happy birthday. Hey Annie, it's Curse. Happy birthday. I'm supposed to share a memory or a story, but remember anything and I'd need you or Jeff here to remind me of the funny story or memory so I'm gonna play the I love you game why I love you which there are so many but you are incredibly smart and so unbelievably funny and quick-witted and beautiful and um, you're a great mom you have a great husband. You have great kids. Um, and the weird thing that I love about you that I think makes you truly, truly unique is your ability to connect people. Your, your ability to maintain and sustain friendships across the miles, across the years. Um, you can bring people together. You make other people friends all through you. You just have this ability that people love you and want to be around you and then your circles grow and grow. And through that, I have had the fortune of making unbelievable connections through you, with you, uh, with your family. And I so appreciate everything that you have brought to my life. So. I love you very much for many, many reasons. I hope you had a great birthday. I'm going to do a cheers. I hope you'll do a cheers. But it's not wine. Mine's Jack. Have some Jack in my memory. <laughs> I love you so much. Happy birthday. Bye. Baby,
Annie. Happy 50th birthday. I am recording this from the house that you helped me buy and from the awesome map that you bought to, for me as a gift. Um, but the real gift that you have given me is just being such a wonderful friend. Uh, you are an amazing person and I am so glad that I met you 16 years ago at that Sibley baby group um, and have known you over all these years through lots of ups and downs. Um, you are just such an incredible person, um, such a great mom, such a great wife, such a great friend. And I'm just thrilled that someone put this together, this awesome tribute for you, uh, because you deserve it. I know you have a lot of friends, um, but I am so happy to be one of them. Happy 50th birthday. Enjoy this big year. Um, hope there's lots of celebrations. And I look forward to knowing you for another 50. Bye. Hi, Annie. Hello, Annie Fennell. Guess who? We're here to wish you a very happy, happy 50th birthday. It's only been like birthday party number five. Happy but this birthday. Is the charm. Happy birthday. La, 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 la. Oh, we, have, we only have a minute because we have to run with the chorus. So we just are here to wish you the happiest of birthdays and tell you how much we love you and admire you and value your friendship. Have a great time out west with your best friends in the world, Annie. Yeah. We'll see you when you get home. Yeah. Happy and, birthday. And, <laughs> and thank you for everything you've done for me career-wise. I am in a different world from where I was three years ago, and I cannot even imagine doing anything else and doing it with anybody else. Love you so much. Thanks for everything. We'll see you on Wednesday. Go Hoyas. Last one. There are no more takes. Annie, happy birthday. Um, there are so many memories that I could have recalled, but I'll choose a funny one, which is from Henley. Um, our prank phone call days. And for those of you lucky enough to have heard some of the tapes that, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, this is it. I'm not doing this again. Amory has all the tapes and um, they're super funny. Um, they make you laugh, they make me laugh. We've had good times, bad times, sad times, everything. True friends have been through it all and you've been a true friend. So happy 50th, welcome to the 50 Club. Love you, looking forward to celebrating this year. Bye-bye. Hello Annie, it's Mayor Bear. I just want to wish you a happy 50th birthday and I've told you for years now that I call you the catalog girl, but that's not just because you're beautiful on the outside, you are so beautiful within. You are truly one of the most generous, thoughtful, kind, compassionate, sweetest people I know, not to mention the dancing phenom, and um, smart and witty, and you are now, I think, the Renaissance woman. That will be my new name for you. So you've graduated from catalog girl to Renaissance woman. So anyway, thank you so much for your friendship. It really means so much to me. And as you reflect on your first 50 years, I hope you realize what a true blessing you are and a gift to everyone who is lucky enough to know you. You are an amazing human being, an awesome friend, and I just love you and I love your family. And I hope that, pardon me, the next half century of your life is great. And sorry we didn't connect in Georgetown, but I'm glad we're making up for it now. So happy birthday, as we say in Polish, stola, and I love you. Happy birthday, honey. Happy 50th. Uh, I hope you have a great uh, trip in Sedona. Um, I love you. Uh, obviously, I'm not very good at the selfie uh, camera. It's uh, probably my first try, which is probably the funniest part of when we tried to do a family video and Luke asked for where my selfie stick was. So um, maybe that's what you should get for my, uh, my, my double nickel. Um, happy birthday. I love you. Uh,